The Rise and Fall of Computer BBSs The Dawn of Digital Communities Before the Internet became the omnipresent force we know today, there was the bulletin board system, BBS. For many tech enthusiasts, BBSs were their first taste of a connected digital world, a place where messages were exchanged, files were shared, and friendships were formed. Let's delve into the rise and fall of computer BBSs and explore their lasting impact on the Internet era. The Rise, a digital frontier. BBSs emerged in the late 1970s, a time when personal computers were gaining popularity, but were still considered a novelty. The first BBS, CBBS, Computerized Bulletin Board System, was created in 1978 by Ward Christensen and Randy Seuss in Chicago. Using a modem and a phone line, users could dial into a host computer and access a text-based interface to post messages, download files, or play games. The appeal was immediate. Unlike traditional mail or telephones, BBSs provided a sense of instant communication and community. Early adopters, mostly tech-savvy hobbyists, began setting up their own BBSs, often hosting them on their home computers. What made BBSs popular? Localized communities. Most BBSs were local due to the high cost of long-distance calls, fostering tight-knit groups of users. Diverse topics. Each BBS often catered to specific interests, such as gaming, technology, or niche hobbies. Early social networking. Through message boards, users could interact, debate, and even forge real-world friendships. File sharing. BBSs became hubs for software distribution, including shareware, freeware, and sometimes pirated content. By the mid-1980s, the BBS scene was thriving, with thousands of systems worldwide. It was a golden age for digital pioneers. The peak, a thriving digital ecosystem. As modems improved, connecting at faster speeds like 1200 or 2400 baud, BBSs became more sophisticated. Developers created advanced software like WWRTY BT FidoNet and PC Board, enabling features such as private messaging and inter-BBS networking. FidoNet, in particular, revolutionized BBS culture by connecting separate systems into a global network. It allowed messages to be relayed between BBSs, creating an early form of email. This innovation extended the reach of BBS communities and enhanced their appeal. Key features of peak BBSs. Door games. Multiplayer text-based games like Trade Wars 2002 and Legend of the Red Dragon, Lord, became hugely popular. Mods and hacking. Many BBSs catered to the underground tech scene, sharing knowledge on programming, modding, and hacking. ASCII Art Users showcased their creativity through intricate text-based designs. By the early 1990s, BBSs had reached their zenith, with millions of users worldwide. It seemed like this digital ecosystem was unstoppable. The Fall Dawn of the Internet the decline of BBSs began in the mid-1990s with the rise of the Internet. Unlike BBSs, the Internet was not constrained by phone lines or geographic limitations. Innovations such as web browsers, email, and search engines made the Internet more accessible and versatile than any BBS. Why did BBSs decline? 1. Cost Internet service providers offered flat rate pricing, making the Internet cheaper than hourly BBS access. 2. Scalability The Internet could host more users simultaneously, without the limitations of phone lines. 3. Content variety Websites provided richer, more diverse content, including graphics and multimedia. 4. Global connectivity the Internet's global reach made it the ultimate platform for communication and information exchange. By the late 1990s, most BBSs had shut down, and their communities migrated to forums, chat rooms, and early social media platforms. The Legacy 
of BBSs. Though BBSs are largely a relic of the past, their influence can still be felt today. Online Communities Modern platforms like Reddit and Discord are direct descendants of the BBS model of interest-based forums. File Sharing BBSs pioneered the sharing of digital files, paving the way for platforms like Napster, BitTorrent, and Cloud Storage. Indie Gaming Many door games developed for BBSs inspired the indie gaming movement we see today. Netiquette Early BBS users established codes of conduct that shaped online etiquette, nostalgia, and revival. Today, a small but passionate group of enthusiasts keeps the BBS spirit alive. Using modern tools like Telnet, you can still connect to active BBS, many of which embrace their retro charm while integrating with modern technologies. The rise and fall of BBSs is a story of innovation, community, and the relentless march of technology. While their heyday may be over, BBSs remain a foundational chapter in the history of digital communication. They remind us of a time when the online world was smaller, more personal, and driven by the pioneering spirit of individuals seeking to connect. For those who were there, the sound of a modem handshake is more than just noise. It's the soundtrack of an era.